So great to have you along on this Friday night as we get ready to roll into the weekend. Quiet, clear, calm conditions downtown Toledo, and you could get that summer vibe already coming into the area. Lots of activity been going on downtown. 58 degrees, east wind at three miles per hour. And over the next several hours, clouds are going to very slowly begin to increase. By the time we get toward daybreak, a little more cloud cover into the morning and temperatures that will eventually rise through the 70s and head close to 80 as we get into tomorrow afternoon. I think you noticed it, though, those late sunsets. 901 was the sundown time today, and we've got 9 p.m. sunsets now through July 24th as we hit full stride into these longer summer days. Tomorrow being the first day of June, lots of area city pools going to be opening up. We'll be close to 80 degrees if you're looking to make that dash to the pool. Some sun early in the day, and I'd go early because that chance of rain is going to become a little more likely, especially as we go late afternoon and into the early evening. Here is that rain chance, a system that is spinning well off to our south and west down towards St. Louis. The cloud cover is beginning to thicken up west of us, and that's the system that works into our area by tomorrow evening. Till then, we will have dry conditions. One thing, though, that we can detect on Doppler radar, and look at this, a large swarm of, you guessed it, mayflies showing up on the western basin of Lake Erie from the Lake Erie Islands all across Lucas County and up in Monroe County. That swarm that's been offshore now beginning to push inland, and I think there's going to be some evidence of that tomorrow from Point Place up through Luna Pier into Monroe and up towards Stony Point, where those concentrations of mayflies have been detected to be quite thick on Doppler radar. We are in the upper 50s, lower 60s across the area, and if it's that round of golf tomorrow, we'll have dry conditions all morning through lunchtime. That tea time right around midday will put us in the mid 70s. And the first chance of a shower, it's after 4 p.m. Also have the Old West End Festival, that King Wamba Parade going on. We will have dry conditions for that early evening rain showers, maybe closer to about 6 or 7 here in the Toledo Metro. So dry weather across the entire area all morning. That chance of rain is going to be increasing as we go through late afternoon and into the evening. So I'll stop the clock 4 p.m. Rain showers just beginning to push into the far western edge of the viewing area, maybe closer to 6 or 7 when those work into the Toledo Metro. There's a clock 7 p.m. and then east of Toledo. It couldn't be after 7 p.m. that the rain arrives. But here's a bit of a tip. Once it begins raining, it will likely rain steadily for at least a few hours. So if you have graduation parties, outdoor activities, there will be wet weather to end our Saturday. Lingering showers into Sunday morning with mostly cloudy skies and highs that will be back in the 60s. How much rain to expect? Hour by hour forecast has been very consistent with this. A quarter to a half an inch of rainfall and those higher totals may end up being west of Toledo. Clear skies tonight, chilly night down to 52 degrees. That sunset went down at 901. You're high on Saturday. 81 degrees. Late day showers will roll into the area, especially more likely into the evening. And keep that in mind if you're out on Lake Erie, waves a foot or less, but rain will become more likely into the evening. 70s around for Sunday, mostly cloudy skies. A few lingering morning showers back in the 80s on uh, Monday. 83 degrees the high, 87 on Tuesday, isolated showers and storms Tuesday will become more common into Wednesday with a cold front that will arrive and that front will drop us back into the 70s toward the middle and end of next week. Highs will be below average mid 70s with additional chances of rain showers late next week and into the following weekend.